Welcome back to Doom. We are still in the Karengar Sanctum, and let's try not to get overwhelmed by the uh, relentless sanctity of this place. Also kill demons. I may or may not have, should have got this out. I wanted that, and now I get that. We are actually about to see a new enemy, well, an old friend of ours. Which is a bit different from the previous iterations. Did you see that? You know, these are the lost souls, and... Uh, in 2016 Doom, they they charge at you and they go kaboom. So the correct response is to be tactical and pick them off from afar. Not really a good thing to do here in Doom when you're supposed to kill everything with a super shotgun or the railgun. But alas, this is something that has to be done and uh, much like imps, the Lost Souls are just there for chip damage, they're not there as the main threat, but they will be annoying if you don't get rid of them before, actually. Engaging everything else, such as the Mancubi. And that was anticlimactic. I wish I could jump that high. Of course, sometimes they will just spawn in your face. Although I'm pretty sure this is the only time in the game when they just spawn right in your face. All the other times that I can remember of, they will, uh, they will spawn far away and you will be able to pick them off. Although sometimes, of course, you will be busy. There should be more demons in here. Speak of the devil. Okay, now this is actually a secret. And an easter egg. Something, something, demons ate my babysitter something. And this is the chain gun. Remember how I told you that uh, I barely used the rocket launcher? Well, I lied. The chain gun is the weapon that I barely ever use. The problem with it is that it A has low accuracy and B it takes a really long time to uh, get winded to get to start actually firing at full speed. Plus, it shares the ammo supply with the Assault Rifle, which I inexplicably use for a lot more than just the Lost Souls. And this is a highly useful uh, invulnerability. Once again, demonstrating how... how you can avoid taking any damage while the power-up is active. Okay, now that's another Hellraiser over there. This is full speed, it takes a long time. Another Hellraiser, you know what this means. Wait for it. Wait for it. Yeah, no. I'm pretty sure this was not the leg I was aiming at.
I have no idea what this means, but I'm pretty sure it does mean something. Is it some easter egg that I don't know of? And this is what happens when a Kako Demon hits you with its projectile. Your vision gets blurry, briefly. Although not so blurry as to completely disorient you. And then again, the Doom guy has a... The Doom Slayer has a large amount of tolerance for these things. That's actually written somewhere in the codex, I think. Now, the correct way is to platform on these uh, platforms above, but I wanted to collect this stuff and you don't need to see me collect it all and get back up. So here we are. Okay, now watch this. No, not this. This. In hindsight, I don't know what I expected. I suppose this was doomed to failure. <laughs> to failure. Now, again, there's a couple of Hellraisers, but they are accompanied by a larger amount of uh, smaller, as well as larger things, and you're just too damn busy to uh, properly aim at the lower right leg or whatever that is, and you end up not doing it at all. Also, this part of the level is kind of slow, I think. There's just not enough density of monsters. Let's try that. Nope. Nope. That as well was doomed to failure. But I... Okay, I was at 56th health. 56th health. That was not a direct hit. That should not have killed me. I blame everyone but myself. I actually did not expect that to kill me even when I was playing. I really thought I would live that. Well, that means we have more of a chance to get the glory kills on Hellraisers, doesn't it? Does it? Yeah, no. I'm not gonna bother at this point. Okay, time to dispense revenge. Revenge dispensed. One thing that I find somewhat uh, disappointing, again in hindsight, not something I thought about as I was playing or it's really only something that I thought about just now. Uh, they say rip and tear a lot, but they don't really show you the guts of anything really except for a couple of mankibai. Uh, this is the auto map for the hell. Hell has auto maps which are compatible with the Doom Slayer's PDA, which, if you think about it, makes no sense, but it also actually makes sense if you take into account things you learn later, much later, from the codex entries, which aren't even mandatory, which are optional, but it makes sense, it does, trust me. Retribution in all quarters, dark and light. 
these little uh, bits of information, bits of lore, they kind of give you an insight as to why the demons occasionally run away in fear from the player character of Doom. Well, that was fun, now let's go and find some demons to seek retribution from. Eh, it's close enough. Ah, this is the only field drone in the level and we have the Gauss Cannon. And it's time for everybody's favorite. Ha <laughs> <laughs> ha 